So hello and welcome to another video from sickmouse.co.uk where you can find lots of free GCSE and A-level maths videos, in fact the whole of the GCSE and very soon to be the whole of the A-level on video for free and even some amazing revision guides which are really really cheap so you might want to check that out and free notes and a bit of tutoring as well that's available you anyway, know this video is about rounding numbers and negative numbers two separate topics but they're so short sure I just stuck them in this one video uh, rounding is all about writing a number to a certain degree of accuracy sometimes say when you're finding the distance to the station you might want to measure it to the nearest 100 meters uh, maybe not to the nearest centimeter, basically, yeah? So sometimes it makes sense to round a number, okay? So if we've got a number like 3.453 and uh, I want to round it, I've got an option. I can round it using the decimal places option or the significant figures option. So let's round this number here to two decimal places. That means two decimal places uh, means two places after the decimal point. Okay, so we're going to keep all the numbers before and two numbers after the decimal point. Okay, now that doesn't mean it's necessarily 3.45, it could be 3.46 after the rounding. Okay, and how do you decide whether that last number goes stays the same or rounds up? Okay, uh, it's the number afterwards. Okay. Now, if the number afterwards is below five, then that stays the same. If it was above five, if it was five or above, sorry, then it would be rounded up. It would have become three point four five. But it's not five or above, is it? It's three, so it just gets rounded down three point four five. So that number is this number rounded to two decimal places, to two dp, as we say. Now we're going to write this number to two significant figures. Okay, that means the first two numbers we come across, not the first two after the decimal point, just the first two non-zero, to be technically correct, okay, you'll find out what that means in over here. So the first two non-zero numbers, which are these two numbers, okay, are going to be our two significant figures. When you say figures, that's just another way of saying numbers. So what we're saying is the first two figures here are the significant ones, okay? Um, that's what that's how accurate we want it okay so the first two numbers are these two now let's check by looking at the next column whether this last number should stay the same or round up just like we did for this one here okay but except for we've got different numbers isn't it we got we're stopping here so does a 4 stay as a 4 or round up to 5 now the next number okay is a 5 which is 5 or above now if the number over here is 5 or above that means this number gets rounded up so it becomes 3.5 there you go so that number 3.5 is this number's correct to two significant figures okay so every single time it's either going to be uh, measured by decimal places or significant figures here's another number uh, we're going to measure it to one decimal place this time so one decimal place means one place after the decimal point okay now this number should it stay the same or round up well this no if again you have to look at the next column uh, of numbers and the next column is, uh, has got a six and is that number five or above Yes, it is. It's a 6, so it's above 5, isn't it? So that means this number rounds up. Because if this number is 5 or above, it rounds up. So it becomes blah, 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 point 0.3. Okay, if it's if it was below 5, it would have, it would have stayed as point 0.2. Okay, now significant figures. Um, all of these examples are slightly different to show you all the different possibilities, yeah? And it really changes mostly when it comes to the significant figures thing situation okay so one significant figure means the first number is the only significant figure the first figure I should say is the only fig significant one okay that means a four is the only significant num figure and uh, the rest don't really matter okay but we have to decide as always does it stay the same or round up the next number as always decides that okay and now it's below five that number here number two is below five so um that number stays the same so it becomes four and the rest become zeros now last time when we did significant figures we just dropped the rest of the numbers but if we just dropped the rest of the numbers over here we would have to just write 42,351.26 is just four 
that wouldn't be right. You can't say 4 and uh, this number is the same. Not even when rough, not even roughly. So what we do is turn these to zeros. Okay. Now if we could turn these to zeros as well, but having zero, zero, zero after this one point doesn't affect the number. Doesn't make the number any bigger or smaller. But keeping these as zeros tells you the rough size of the number. Yeah. Okay. So basically, forty thousand is this number roughly, uh, basically accurate to one significant figure. Okay, yet another example um, of how to apply this stuff. The decimal places stuff, as I said before, doesn't really um, <coughs> uh, change in terms of technique, really. It's just the significant figures stuff that can surprise you. So we're going to write this number to four decimal places. That means four places after the decimal point. This number is the fourth number after, or, uh, fourth, yeah, the fourth number after the decimal point, which is three. Does it stay the same or round up? Well, um, this number is above five, so that means this number does round up to four. So it becomes 0 0.0004, like it says here. Uh, writing this number to one significant figure. Remember, I said significant figures means like the f numbers, the first number or the first numbers. So one significant fig figure means that one only one number is significant. Okay, uh, so the f the first number is significant. It's basically saying, uh, but it's a first non-zero number. I mentioned that before, but it probably didn't make sense in that case. But it does in this case because that's a zero. Then is not. It's the first non-zero. So that's n that is a zero. So it's not a non-zero. That's not a non-zero. That's not a non-zero. That is a non-zero. Okay, that's the first non-zero number. So basically, that's what it means to write it to one significant figure to keep that number. Okay, um, because obviously you don't want to start with that. Because imagine if you got a small number and you round it to one significant figure, and if that meant used any the first number, that means you'd always round it to zero. That would be useless. Okay, we want the first non-zero number because that's when the real number starts, isn't it? Yeah, over here. Okay, after the zeros. So um, that's our first non-zero number. It happens to be this three again. How do we round it? The same way we round it for decimal places. You look at the next number. Is it above five? And again, that rounds to four. So in both cases, the number becomes zero point zero 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 four. Okay, so that's rounding covered. Let's talk about negative numbers. Negative numbers. I'm going to talk about it very quickly. Um, uh, student surprise surprise themselves so they actually know it already how to deal with negative numbers okay um, and this is the way I go about telling them in a live lesson in an actual lesson I say listen guys uh, people 3 times 4 what is that that's 12 they say then I say if that's 12 what's 3 times minus 4 gonna be well they say oh, I suppose it must be minus 12 and they're right okay because minus just means do the opposite and people actually know that subconsciously right 3 times minus 4 is minus 12 great okay then what happens if you do minus 3 times minus 4 you've got two minuses well it just goes and they usually guess it right it goes back to normal again because the opposite that must be the opposite of this right because it's got another minus okay so the opposite of that is back to 12 again and if I had another minus times in, it would go to minus 12 again or minus whatever it would go back to a negative number so that's how it works okay uh, when it comes to timesing. Um, what about these situations with a plusing or minusing negative numbers? Okay, well let's just start off with a straightforward 5 minus 2, that's obviously 3. Okay, now what's a plus going to do to this? Well, a plus basically sticks two numbers together. It doesn't actually change the sign or anything. It doesn't really do anything except for stick two numbers together. Now if you stick a normal number and a negative number together, it's actually just taking it away. You know, it's like saying I start from level four on a, on a building and then go down two floors. Yeah, add the negative number. It basically means make it go lower. Yeah, okay. That's the same as that. Okay, lower by two makes it three. So that's that understood. Right now, if you have two negative numbers right next to each other, if you're saying five minus minus two, that's like doing the opposite. So if you're what's the opposite of taking away? It's adding. 
Yeah? It says take away this number. Take away what number? Oh, minus two. Take away minus two. That means plus two basically overall. Yeah, that means five plus two which is seven. Okay? That only happens when the minuses are right next to each other. If it was minus five minus two, that means there's a minus there and only one minus here. They're not right next to each other, are they? The minus there and the minus there. Okay? So only when they're right next to each other do they become a plus. That becomes a plus because becomes five plus two which is seven. Um if it was like that example I was saying, like minus 5 minus 2, that's kind of like this example here. Minus 10 plus 4. That's so like imagining you're on uh, level minus 10 in a building. Never actually been that low, but anyway, I'm sure there is a building somewhere that low. And then you go up 4, like it says here, then you'd be on level minus 6. Okay, it'd be less negative. Okay, um, if we were if we had minus four, sorry, minus ten, minus four, that means you go start from minus ten and go down four, we would be down to level minus fourteen. Okay, so thank you for listening. That's the end.